Baking soda is a common ingredient that you can find in most houses. Everyone knows that the ingredient is essential for tasty muffins and cookies, but did you know that it has many other uses too? If you've got a box of baking soda at home, then you have one of the best cleaning and odor removal products around. Here are all the things you can do with baking soda. Mouthwash. Baking soda can be a simple and effective alternative to traditional mouthwash. The harsh mint flavor or regular mouthwash can often be too overpowering for some people. Also, the mint flavor can just be a disguise rather than the mouthwash actually getting rid of bacteria. To use baking soda as a mouthwash, mix half a teaspoon of baking soda with water to create a solution. Stir until the baking soda dissolves. Gargle the mixture in your mouth for about 30 seconds, then spit it out. Baking soda helps neutralize acidity, reduces bacteria, and freshens breath. Its natural properties make it a cost-effective way to maintain oral hygiene. However, it's essential not to use it excessively as it may lead to irritation. Limit usage to a few times a week and consult your dentist if you have any concerns. Neutralize fridge odors. Baking soda is a versatile and affordable solution for banishing unpleasant odors in your fridge. Lots of foods, such as garlic and cheese, can leave lingering smells in your refrigerator that can be quite unpleasant every time you open the door. To use baking soda as a fridge odor neutralizer, simply place an open box or a small container filled with about half a cup of baking soda on one of the shelves. Baking soda acts as a natural deodorizer, absorbing and neutralizing unwanted smells. It's particularly effective at tackling strong food odors that hang around. Replace the baking soda every one, three months to maintain its freshness-boosting power. Additionally, you can enhance its odor-fighting ability by adding a few drops of essential oil, such as lemon or lavender, to the baking soda before placing it in the fridge. Using baking soda is much better for a fridge than chemical cleaners as it's safe around food. Air freshener. Baking soda works wonders as a natural and simple air freshener. To use it, grab a small bowl or container and fill it with about half a cup of baking soda. Place it in different areas of your home, like the living room, kitchen, or bathroom. Baking soda acts like a superhero for absorbing and neutralizing unwanted odors, leaving your space smelling clean. If you do want to add a nice fragrance to your air freshener, then mix in a few drops of your favorite essential oil into the baking soda before placing it in the bowl. To keep the air freshener working, replace the baking soda every few weeks. Baking soda provides an easy way to keep your home smelling fresh without relying on artificial fragrances or harmful chemicals. Many standard air fresheners are full of chemicals that could irritate pets or those with conditions such as asthma. Whiten your laundry. Brightening your laundry with baking soda is easy and cost-effective. Simply add half a cup of baking soda to your regular laundry detergent when washing clothes. Baking soda acts as a natural booster, helping to remove stains and odors while brightening whites. For a pre-soaked treatment, dissolve half a cup of baking soda in a basin of warm water and let your whites soak before washing. This can be especially helpful for stubborn stains. Baking soda also works well in high-efficiency washers. It not only enhances the cleaning power, but also helps to balance pH levels, keeping your clothes looking fresh. This simple addition to your laundry routine is a gentle and efficient way to achieve whiter, brighter clothes without the use of harsh chemicals. This is a really handy tip for those with sensitive skin who don't want to use harsh detergents or chemical stain removers. Kitchen Cleaner Cleaning your kitchen with baking soda is easy. Sprinkle baking soda on a damp sponge or cloth and then scrub surfaces like countertops, sinks and appliances. Its gentle abrasiveness helps remove stains and grease without scratching. For stubborn stains, make a paste by mixing baking soda with a little water, apply it to the stain, and let it sit for a few minutes before scrubbing. Baking soda also works wonders to get your oven sparkling again. Sprinkle baking soda on the bottom of the oven, spray with water until damp, and let it sit overnight. Wipe away the grime the next day. Many people are conscious of using chemical cleaners in a kitchen where food may come into contact with things. Baking soda is a gentle but effective alternative to keeping your kitchen clean and safe. Treat Nail Fungus Treating fungal nail problems with baking soda is a straightforward and natural solution. 
If you've just noticed the beginnings of a nail infection, then baking soda could be a good place to start before you switch to medication creams and ointments. Start by making a paste with baking soda and a small amount of water. Apply this paste directly onto the affected nails, ensuring it reaches the edges and underneath. Let it sit for 10, 15 minutes before rinsing thoroughly with warm water. This process can be done daily until you notice improvement. Baking soda's antifungal properties help combat the growth of fungi while also neutralizing odors. Remember to keep your feet clean and dry, wearing breathable shoes and socks whilst treating the infection. While baking soda can be beneficial, consult with a healthcare professional for persistent or severe fungal nail issues. Eliminate trash can odors. Getting rid of unpleasant trash can odors is easy with baking soda. Simply sprinkle a generous amount of baking soda at the bottom of the trash can before adding a new garbage bag. Baking soda naturally absorbs and neutralizes odors, keeping your trash can smelling fresh. You can also make a simple deodorizing sachet by placing a handful of baking soda in a small cloth bag or a coffee filter, securing it with a rubber band or string, and then placing it at the bottom of the trash can. Replace the baking soda regularly to ensure continued odor control. This inexpensive and straightforward trick helps maintain a clean and odor-free environment, making your kitchen a more pleasant space. It's a much cheaper alternative to buying powders and sprays marketed toward eliminating trash can odors. Remove stains from carpets. Using baking soda as a carpet stain remover is really useful for all those accidental spillages. Start by blotting the stained area with a clean cloth to remove excess liquid. Sprinkle baking soda directly onto the stain, covering it completely. Let it sit for at least 15 minutes, allowing the baking soda to absorb the stain and its odor. Afterward, vacuum the treated area thoroughly to lift away the baking soda and the stain. For tougher stains, mix baking soda with water to create a paste, apply it to the stain, and let it dry before vacuuming. Baking soda's natural properties help break down and lift stains from the carpet fibers. We've all had a moment of panic when we spill something on the carpet, but baking soda will keep your carpets looking clean and fresh. Multi-Purpose Bathroom Cleaner Baking soda is a fantastic multi-purpose cleaner for your bathroom, and it's easy to use. Start by sprinkling baking soda on surfaces like sinks, counters, and tubs. With a damp sponge or cloth, scrub the surfaces, letting the baking soda's gentle abrasiveness lift away grime and stains. For extra cleaning power, make a paste with baking soda and water, applying it to tougher stains or soap scum. Let it sit for a few minutes before scrubbing. Baking soda also works wonders on toilet bowls. Just sprinkle it in, scrub, and flush. Its natural deodorizing properties leave your bathroom smelling fresh. Don't forget to wipe down surfaces with a damp cloth after cleaning. While it's essential to keep your bathroom clean, chemical cleaners can be very overwhelming, especially in smaller spaces like bathrooms. Baking soda is just as efficient at keeping bathrooms clean without toxic ingredients. Get rid of pesticides on fruits and vegetables. If you're worried about pesticides on produce, then peeling fruit and vegetables can eliminate the risk. However, you're also getting rid of a lot of the goodness. Thankfully, there is an alternative way to make sure your fruit and veg are pesticide-free. Fill a bowl with water, add a few tablespoons of baking soda, and stir to make a solution. Soak your fruits and vegetables in this mixture for 10 to 15 minutes, making sure they are fully submerged. The baking soda helps to break down and wash away pesticide residues. After soaking, rinse the produce thoroughly under running water to remove any remaining baking soda and pesticides. This method is effective for reducing pesticide exposure and is especially useful for fruits and vegetables with thin skins like berries and leafy greens. It's a simple and affordable way to enjoy cleaner, safer produce. Relieve Itchy Skin Relieving itchy skin with baking soda is a simple and soothing solution. For people with sensitive skin, it's a gentler solution to using shop-bought creams. There are a few ways you can use baking soda for itchy skin. For a bath, add about one cup of baking soda to warm water and stir. Soak in the bath for 15 to 20 minutes to calm irritated skin. Alternatively, make a paste by mixing three parts baking soda with one part water. 
Apply the paste to itchy areas, let it sit for 10 minutes, and then rinse off with cool water. Baking soda's anti-inflammatory and alkaline properties help alleviate itching and soothe the skin. Remember to pat your skin dry gently after using baking soda to avoid further irritation. If itching persists, or if you have sensitive skin, it's wise to consult a healthcare professional for personalized advice. Polish Silverware Silverware can dull and tarnish quite easily, but if you have some baking soda, then there's an easy way to restore the shine. The key to keeping silverware looking good is to try and reduce contact with abrasive elements that can scratch it. While baking soda does have a scrubbing element to it, it's much gentler than other cleaners. Create a paste by mixing three parts, baking soda with one part water. Apply the paste to your silverware using a soft cloth or sponge, gently rubbing it in circular motions. The baking soda helps remove the tarnish and bring back the sparkle. For intricate or detailed patterns, use an old toothbrush to get into the nooks and crannies. After polishing, rinse the silverware under warm water and dry it thoroughly with a soft cloth. Baking soda's natural abrasive quality works wonders without scratching your precious silver items. Your silverware will look new in no time. Clean burnt pans. When something gets burnt to the bottom of a pan, the last thing you want to do is scrub hard as it can damage the pan and cause things to stick to it more easily. Baking soda is a gentle cleaning alternative that will keep your pots and pans like new. Start by filling the burnt pan with warm water and adding about two to three tablespoons of baking soda. Let it soak for a few hours or overnight. The baking soda works to loosen the burnt on food particles. After soaking, scrub the pan with a sponge or brush, focusing on the burnt areas. For stubborn spots, make a paste by mixing baking soda with a little water and apply it directly to the stains. Let it sit for 15, 20 minutes before scrubbing again. The gentle abrasive nature of baking soda helps lift away the burnt residue without damaging the pan. Rinse thoroughly with water and your pan should be clean and ready to use again. Kill weeds in the garden. Using baking soda as a weed killer is an eco-friendly and simple way to keep unwanted plants at bay. With children and pets around you, maybe looking for a safer alternative to chemical weed killers that can still keep your garden looking good, but are safe to use. Sprinkle baking soda directly onto the weeds in your garden, making sure to cover the leaves and base. Baking soda disrupts the growth of weeds by changing the pH levels in the soil. Just be careful not to get it on your other plants, as it can affect them too. It's best to apply on a dry, sunny day, as the sun helps enhance its weed-fighting power and the baking soda won't get washed away. Reapply as needed until the weeds are gone. Remember, baking soda is a safer alternative to chemical weed killers, but it may impact the soil's pH, so use it sparingly and avoid areas where you plan to grow other plants. Deodorize sweaty shoes. Sweaty shoes can be unpleasant in the home, and repeatedly wearing sweaty shoes can also heighten your risk of fungal infections. Deodorizing shoes with baking soda can help to eliminate these problems, though. Start by sprinkling a generous amount of baking soda into each shoe, covering the insoles completely. Let the baking soda sit overnight to absorb any odors. The next day, tap the shoes to remove the excess baking soda. For extra freshness, you can also put baking soda in a small cloth bag or sock and place it inside each shoe when not in use. This helps prevent new odors from forming. Baking soda's natural properties neutralize unpleasant smells, leaving your shoes smelling clean. If you've been fighting a fungal infection, as we saw before, baking soda also has antifungal properties that can reduce the risk of the infection returning. Soothe canker sores. Canker sores are small, painful ulcers that can form inside your mouth. They often heal on their own after a week or two, but can be uncomfortable, especially when eating or talking. Thankfully, baking soda can help to soothe canker sore. Mix one teaspoon of baking soda with a little water to create a paste. Dab the paste onto the canker sore using a cotton swab or your clean fingertip. Let it stay for a minute or two before rinsing your mouth with water. Baking soda's alkaline nature helps neutralize acidity and reduce irritation, promoting faster healing. You can repeat this process a few times a day until the canker sore feels better. Remember not to swallow the paste and be gentle to avoid further discomfort. 
If the sore persists or worsens, it's a good idea to consult with a healthcare professional for advice on additional treatments. Soak up oil. Oily solutions such as cooking oil, sunscreen, and hair oil can be tricky to clean up if you spill them. However, baking soda can make the job easier. First, sprinkle a generous amount of baking soda directly onto the oil spill. The baking soda will quickly absorb the oil. Let it sit for a few minutes to properly soak everything up. Next, use a broom or brush to sweep up the soiled baking soda along with the absorbed oil. Dispose of the mixture in a trash can. If the spill is on a hard surface, you can also use a damp cloth or sponge to wipe away any residue. Baking soda's absorbent properties make it a handy and inexpensive tool for managing small oil spills. Getting the baking soda onto the spill fast will increase effectiveness and make cleaning up easier as the oil won't have spread. Antacid Solution Using baking soda as an antacid is a simple and quick remedy for heartburn or indigestion. When these ailments strike, they can cause a lot of discomfort, so this is a handy tip to know if you don't have any antacid medication at home. Mix half a teaspoon of baking soda into a glass of water and stir until it dissolves. Drink the mixture slowly to help neutralize stomach acid and relieve discomfort. However, it's important not to use this remedy regularly as excessive intake of baking soda can lead to other side effects and it does contain a high amount of sodium. Consult with a healthcare professional if you experience frequent or severe heartburn. Baking soda's alkaline nature can provide temporary relief, but it's essential to use it cautiously and not as a long-term solution. Treat bug bites and stings. Bug bites and stings can be painful and annoying, but baking soda can provide a soothing solution that promotes healing. Make a paste by mixing baking soda with a little water, creating a thick consistency. Apply this paste directly onto the bug bite or sting, covering the affected area. Let it sit for about 10 to 15 minutes before gently rinsing it with water. Baking soda's natural properties help reduce itching and inflammation, providing relief from discomfort. You can repeat this process as needed. Additionally, you may consider adding a few drops of water to dry baking soda and directly applying it to the bite. Remember, if you experience severe reactions or allergies, seek medical attention. Drain Cleaner Clogged drains can be smelly and annoying when the water doesn't drain properly. Before you rush out to buy expensive chemical drain unblockers, though, it might be worth giving baking soda a try. Start by pouring about one half cup of baking soda down the drain. Follow it with a cup of vinegar. The combination creates a fizzy reaction that helps break down debris and clear the clog. Let it sit for about 15 minutes. Then flush the drain with hot water to wash away the dissolved blockage. For stubborn clogs, you can repeat the process or use a plunger to help dislodge the debris. Regular maintenance with baking soda can also help prevent future clogs, maintaining an efficient plumbing system. Which of these baking soda tips will you be trying out? We'd love to hear your thoughts, so please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video.